everybody, I'm Rob Raybon, and in this review, we're going to look at the Falcon Eyes F7 Pocket Light. This is a pretty fresh light off of Amazon. Hasn't been out that long. I've had it for about a week. I've used it for a bunch of different shots, taking pictures of the dog and toys and stuff like that. In this review, I'm going to talk about all the features and how you can use this light for small automotive photography. It might be a small light, but it's super powerful, and you can actually use it to light up a whole car if you want. This light is small enough that you can fit it in your pocket, hence the name Pocket Light. And it's USB chargeable, so you don't have to buy any kind of extra batteries, any of those like Sony batteries that are big, like small bricks. And this thing does so many things very well. So let's get into it. This light even has a special feature that I haven't really seen on any other lights, but now that I know about it, I want it on every piece of gear that I have, and that's that this thing has a magnet. It's not the strongest magnet in the world, but this thing will hold the light up and hold it pretty secure. I wouldn't drive around doing 100 miles an hour or anything with this. If you want to use a car as a light stand, you can do that now with this light. We have the honeycomb. It's kind of flexy. We have the light. And I guess like a little soft box. And that's it. This is the Pocket Light F7. This is made by Falcon Eyes. That's fancy. It's got some weight to it, like in a good way. Pretty excited about this. It's USB rechargeable, should be programmable, should have a lot of settings. This packaging is really nice. And it even comes with a soft case. Inside the soft case, we have the mount, which is nice. Well, cold shoe mount, and then the charger. This is going to be your typical USB-C, or I guess that's what they call that. It's like the GoPro charger. Oh, that's a good feeling. If you want to buy one of these from Amazon.com, the link is in the description below. So the operation of this light is really intuitive. It's got one on off button, which also goes through the different settings. It has three modes, which is your normal light, your RGB light, and then your scene modes. So once you're in a normal mode, you can control brightness with this wheel, or you can control your color temp by clicking this one down or up. It goes all the way down to 2500 Kelvin, all the way up to 9000 Kelvin, which is a really broad range for your main light. You can pretty much match any kind of color you could think of. Sunlight is usually around 5600 Kelvin, and at 100% brightness, it gets pretty bright. Once you're in RGB mode, you press the center wheel scroll flicker thingy. When you press that, that gets you into the color it's 360 degrees of color wheel and then you can tap this again that puts you in saturation if you want to desaturate the color and then the third wheel will give you brightness the rgb goes pretty bright also be neat for all those like vaporwave effects and stuff so in scene mode there is 20 scenes you can't change the brightness of it which kind of sucks but not really a big deal goes from a cop light to like an ambulance light to a fire truck light to some lightning which would simulate lightning pretty accurately actually like when I think of lightning that's kind of what I think of if you want to turn it off just go ahead and turn it off by pressing and holding the on off button and when you turn it back on it's going to go right back to the mode that you were previously in with the settings that you previously had so if you want to have like your cop light on and just want to turn it on for a video effect and it's automatically going to go back to that setting the body on this thing seems to be aluminum it's still pretty lightweight though in a good way it doesn't feel cheap at all it feels like this thing could get tossed around a bit the front screen's kind of a hard plastic the back might be plastic, I don't know, but the body seems to be aluminum, so I bet this thing is pretty, pretty durable. I wouldn't feel too bad about dropping this thing. And the finish seems like it's powder coated, maybe. Seems tough. You can just feel the thickness to it. Speaking of thickness and size, you can see my busted iPhone. This is an iPhone 8 Plus. It's about the same size as this. Definitely thicker than an iPhone, but it's still compact. You can throw this in your pocket and not really be too obstructed. Comes with a nice case. The case has a nice little holder pouch right here. I guess you could put your charger cable in there. You get the cold shoe mount, which seems to be well made. 
Feels like it's aluminum. Then you have this interesting little mount. I don't really haven't used this much. It looks like it's got a quarter inch female thread here, two quarter inch male threads on top. This would be really nice for having two lights. So you can mount this on a either a light stand or a tripod and have two lights on the side. And I do think that I'm gonna buy a second light. So this is really gonna come in handy. As for the soft boxes and our little grid, I haven't used those much either, but they do seem to change the light output a lot. This is gonna focus your LEDs a lot more. This is gonna be for like a soft diffusing effect. It has a quarter inch mount on the bottom. You have your charger port on the top. You're mostly gonna to wanna to use your cold shoe mount, which goes right to the bottom of the light. You can put that on the top of the camera, like that. Tighten these up. And then you have a really awesome video set up. A nice light on it. Been using this for about a week now, and this is definitely my new favorite lighting piece of gear. Just because it's so small, compact, and you can do so much with it. I really wish a company would come out with a monitor that's about this size that has a built-in battery because I don't use on-camera monitors at all because they're so big and bulky and they got those big Sony batteries. It'd be awesome if somebody made something like that. So here we are in a dark location. We've got a camera set up and we're gonna use the pocket light for a light source for light painting. If you want to know how to light paint, I might do a tutorial on that soon. I don't know. There's a lot of other good videos on it, but I might do my own just because. But let's see what we can do with this, this small light. This little tiny light. Pretty sure we can do a lot to that car. For a good example of how bright this light is, this is 1 30th of a second at 2.8 at ISO 2500. This is about what my eye sees. The skyline headlights are pretty dim. With the pocket light at 100% at 5600 Kelvin, we have this. As you can see, it lights up everything. This little pocket light. It's the only light source and it's that bright. On this next shot, I think I'm gonna use a scene mode and try to give it more of a like strobe effect just to see what happens. Let's do another scene just to see what kind of effect we can get going on. I think I'm gonna do one of these weird wacky like scene 20 things. It flashes really fast. That was actually a pretty cool effect. I like that. With the light on the roof, using a magnet, it looks pretty convincing as a cop car. I mean, not super convincing because it's not wide enough, obviously, but if you had two of these and threw them both on the roof, I'd probably pull over. It's pretty dope. Do not use the police strobe scene on the roads because you're probably gonna go to jail. So don't do that. It's like, a Skyline police car, except it's not black and white or blue and white, whatever your local jurisdiction has. That's worth the money right there. If you want to do some videos where you're fake pulling over your friends or something, like I said, not on public roads, but if you had a lot where you're trying to film a little video, that would really come in handy for something like that. So it actually has a cheat sheet for all the different modes. I guess you could stick this on the back of the light if you want. Number one is police light. Number two is ambulance. Number three is fire truck. Number four is lightning one. Number five is lightning two. Number six is HSI demo slow. Number seven is HSI demo fast. Number eight is screen. Number nine is candle. Number ten is paparazzi. Number eleven is strobe. Twelve is high and low beam bulb. Thirteen is double flash. Like hazard lights. Safety camera all kinds of uses for car stuff. Fourteen is red flash. Fifteen is green flash. Sixteen is blue flash. Seventeen is party number one. Eighteen is party number two. So since I got this thing, I've only charged it the one time. Did all my testing and a bunch of pictures, and I still have fifty percent battery life left. So. Overall, this battery lasts a long time. It's probably some nice internal lithium ion battery. I'm not sure the specs on that, but it's a 7.4 volt, 3000 milliamp. I really like this light. I think I'm gonna buy a second one because it does so many things so well, and it's one of my favorite pieces of gear. It's small, you can put this thing in your bag. It's about the size of an iPhone, so you can keep this in your pocket if you want it to. Hence the name, Pocket Light. So if you'd like to buy one of these, the link is in the description below. It's off of Amazon, and 
yeah, it's an awesome light. Thank you for watching and please like and please subscribe and all that stuff. You'll see more car stuff and more gear stuff. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.